You've heard it said that nothing lasts forever. Well, I found that to be true of pickup trucks and dishwashers, but it's not true of us. God designed us to live forever. And this lampstand, the menorah, reminds me of that. The first time we read about it is in Exodus 25. The Lord told Moses that he wanted him to build something that looked like this with branches and seven primary stalks and leaves and uh, almond blossoms in order to create this symbol. There's a debate about exactly what it looked like, but something like this. One of the roles it played was to give light in an otherwise dark space. But why the shape of the tree? I think it has to do with the fact that this was a symbol of the tree of life that we find in the Garden of Eden. Remember that tree? Adam and Eve ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And when they did, when they had fallen into sin, the Lord said, I'm not going to let you eat from the tree of life. And they were asked to leave the garden. But just because they sinned didn't mean that humans stopped being eternal. Are you living today like you'll live forever? And I forget that an awful lot because my attention goes to the things that I need to get done today or this week or this month or this year. And when I make those choices, I'm making choices that also impact my eternity. Here's what I love about the Bible. This tree of life idea begins in Genesis 2. It's carried throughout the Old Testament and into the New Testament as the menorah, the symbol for the tree of life and it shows up again in the very last chapter of the Bible, Revelation 22, reminding us from the first to the last book of the Bible that we are eternal beings.